snake, round snake right there. Oh my goodness, look at the size of the snake. Okay, Mario, just get the snake tubes out. This snake can take off in a burst of speed. Nah, that's not the rattle rattling itself. That is my hand shaking from holding onto this snake. The deserts of the Southwest aren't only riddled with dangers, they also have the potential to be deadly. To define danger, I'm talking about spiky plants, hairy spiders, glowing scorpions, and one very venomous lizard. If I were to define deadly, it would come in the slithering form of Arizona's most commonly encountered venomous snake, the outlaw viper known as the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Tonight we are exploring a private stretch of property, eerily located beyond the looming structure of the Superstition Mountains. What was once a lucrative gold mine has now been reclaimed by the wild, and while I'd love to find a fortune in golden glory, the only treasure we are likely to come across here is of the animal kind. When searching for reptilian predators like rattlesnakes, one of the best things you can come across are prey species, and this desert is bustling with rodents. So this right here is likely the home of kangaroo rats. Now, a kangaroo rat is something that a rattlesnake will primarily target for feasting on. And if I was a rattlesnake, this is definitely an area that I would hang out, waiting for the rodents to come up out of the burrow. Once they detect that heat signature, they strike out and inject that venom. So there's a good chance we could be hot on the trail of a rattlesnake right now. Let's search all through this underbrush and see what we find. really have to move slow and methodically through an environment like this. So that is a desert rat of some species. It's not a kangaroo rat, but a rodent of that size is the primary meal for a Western Dimeback rattlesnake. Of course, up in a choya cactus like that, it's completely safe. You're not gonna ever see a rattlesnake up in a choya like this, so. Well, where you see rodents, you will definitely find the snakes. All right, let's keep looking. We're getting close, I can feel it. They say that where you find cheese, you will find rats. I always say that where you find rats, you will find snakes. And boy, do I love being right. We're seeing some rocks. What do you think, Mario? This looks a little bit better. Okay. Ooh, look at this outcrop. Snake, rattlesnake right there. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake. Holy cow, look at the size of this. It's a Western Dimeback, okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this snake. Oh, I got chills running up and down my body right now, okay. This scenario is incredibly dangerous. Um, what I want to do is get this snake up off of these rocks and down into a more controlled situation. Okay, it's just staying completely still. Let's just take a second to look at that camouflage. I mean, all I saw was the black and white banding on the tails. We came up over those rocks and immediately I knew rattlesnake and you want to properly identify whether or not it's a Mojave or a Western Dimeback. It's really easy to get the two mixed up. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous my hands are shaking. This is a big, big rattlesnake. This is, wow, I don't even know if we've got a tube big enough to get this snake into. So this is gonna be great. We're gonna get to use our snake examination tubes if I can safely get the snake off of the rocks. All right, the snake is definitely onto us now. Let's see how he's gonna move. Okay, you guys good? All right, I'm gonna see if, okay, there's that. Look, it's not even rattling yet. Okay, now it's beginning to get into defensive pose. Coming this way. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, okay. I'm gonna try to tail the snake. I got the tail, I got the tail. I'm gonna try to, okay, you ready? I'm gonna try to move it down here into the sand. Wow, that is a big rattlesnake. This is the biggest Western Dimeback I think I've ever seen. Okay, real steady. Okay, I got it. Back up very slow, everybody back, back, back. Watch your foot, Ian. I see it, I see it. Okay. Move back, move back. Uh, okay, up by this rock here, I want it completely out and in the sand. Wow, that is a heavy rattlesnake. It's taking all my strength to hold it up like that. Okay, let me see if I can just get it to sit here in the sand. 
look at the size of that rattlesnake. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the tail real gently. Let's see if we can get it to coil. Okay, nope, it's just gonna keep moving. Um, stop, 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 buddy, stop, stop. There, there, look at this, okay. Perfect positioning. Okay, Mario, just set your camera down. Okay. Um, get the snake tubes out. Everybody just watch, this snake can take off in a burst of speed. I'm gonna try to stay in front of it so that it keeps its attention on me. There you go, keep your attention right here. Heat seeking pits honed in on me saying, okay, don't you get any closer and trust me, I will not. Getting close to a sidewinder is one thing. This snake can launch its body forward two thirds its own length and that is about a four and a half foot Western Diamondback. Okay, yeah. so go ahead, hand me the tubes. Now, what we're gonna try to do here, um, Mario, I, I may or may not need your help, but this is great because we've got these rocks we can actually use. I wanna try to coerce the snake very gently into the tube. Now what this will do is allow me to actually get hands on with the snake. This is gonna put very little stress on the animal. It's the safest situation for me, the snake, and for you guys. Um, okay, here, 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 take, take the tongs, take the tongs. Okay, oh my gosh, my leg is shaking, leg is shaking. Everybody just take a deep breath. Now you'll notice that the rattlesnake isn't even rattling at this point. Sometimes they won't. The snake is relying on its camouflage. It doesn't need to warn us with its rattle. It's basically so confident in its size and now that it knows it's been spotted, it's like, I don't need to warn you. I simply just need you to back off because there you go. a bite from this snake. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Let me try to get in front of it. Whoa, buddy, there we go. This is good, I'm able to just keep it in position. Very, very slow movements. That's what we want right there. We want it to curl up into a ball like that. Feel comfortable, feel camouflaged. Okay, let me see if I can place it just in front of the snake. Um, put this here. I'm gonna take off my pack. I need as much mobility as I can possibly get. Okay, this is the most dangerous part right here. This is like the most dangerous game of desert operation. Look out, look out. Watch that strike. Okay. Okay, okay watch, watch, watch your hand, watch your hand. Make sure it doesn't go all the way out. Grab it. Okay, there we go. Got it. <sighs> Dangerous snake situation under control. Wow, now I do have to hold on to the snake with as much power as I possibly can to keep it locked in place. Okay, this is good. So you see, wow, the snake's head is almost coming out the front of that tube. Okay. I get my composure here. Whew. That is an incredibly large Western Diamondback rattlesnake. One of the most toxic snake species in the United States. <sighs> Look at the size of that snake. Incredible. When we're talking about rattlesnakes, the most quintessential thing is the rattle. Look at that, and this is the only way that you're able to get close to one of these snakes' rattles. Now, what's interesting about the rattle is that it's made of keratin, the same thing that makes up your fingernails and your hair. And these are called buttons, each individual little section. And every time the snake sheds its skin, a new button forms. Now, you can't tell the age of a rattlesnake based on its buttons because, as you can see here, a piece has definitely broken off at some point in time. Sometimes it may get stuck on a stick or in between rocks, the snake keeps slithering and one of those buttons pops off. But that is a beautiful rattle right there. Now, there's nothing actually inside the rattle. People often think, well, there are little beads inside there that shake around. No, that is just the sound of the buttons vibrating up against each other. <sighs> nah, that's not the rattle rattling itself. That is my hand shaking from holding onto this snake. This is the largest Western Dimeback I think I have ever encountered in the wild. An absolute beautiful snake. And one of the most unique things about all rattlesnakes is this is a new world snake, the most highly evolved venomous snake on the planet. These are pit vipers. They have heat sensing pits right in front of their eyes. And they rely on those pits to sense the heat registry of an animal that's in their environment. Now, something like a banded gecko would not show up, right? Cold blooded animal, but a kangaroo rat, or perhaps that desert rat that we saw up in the cactus earlier, that is the primary prey target for a snake of this type. They specialize in eating rodents. Now, when they strike their prey, they bite down, inject that venom. Eventually, whatever it is that they have bitten succumbs to that venom, and then the snake has the opportunity to swallow it down. Now, like all snakes, 
This one has a forked tongue, and that is what the snake uses to smell and taste the environment. They bring that tongue back into their mouths, run it over the Jacobson's organ, and it tells the snake everything it needs to know about the environment. If there's a predator close, if some prey items have moved through, they're even capable of sensing when the weather is going to change. So this snake knows if a monsoon is getting ready to push in. They are just perfectly in tune with the desert. Now the Western Dimeback Rattlesnake is primarily a nocturnal species, but people do occasionally stumble upon them in the early morning or just before sunset. These snakes rely on the sun to heat up their bodies, so at the end of the day they soak up those last rays of the sun and then they head out for the night to hunt. And they're opportunistic. If something comes close to the snake, it will strike out and seize the opportunity to get that meal. Now, when we're talking about toxicity, this is one of the most venomous snakes in the United States. And it has more so to do with the size of the snake. The larger the snake is, the larger the yield of venom. So a rattlesnake of this size can give you a potentially lethal bite. If you were to ever be bitten by a Western Dimeback, whether it's a baby or one that's this large, without question, you need to seek medical attention. Now, they do make anti-venom for the species, and not many people lose their lives to the snake, but the makeup of the venom contains hemotoxic, cytotoxic, and mitotoxic venom. So it will cause necrosis, and oftentimes people that are bitten on the foot or the hand end up losing that limb. And the way most bites happen, are on accident. Somebody steps too close to the snake or they see a snake and decide, okay, I'm gonna try to kill it, I'm gonna harass it, I'm gonna get it out of my yard. The snake then becomes agitated and that's when they will defend themselves with a strike. In interacting with this snake tonight by being calm, by remaining as cool as possible, this snake never even struck once at us, which just shows you this is not an aggressive animal. It's an animal that simply wanted to flee the situation. Its first instinct was flight. Let me see if I can get away. At no point did it show us any sign of aggression. So cool just being this close to a rattlesnake of this size. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Okay, I'm gonna just set the snake right down here in the sand and let it slowly slither out through the tube and it's gonna disappear back off into the desert. The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake hails as the pinnacle of snake evolution. Yet this perfectly designed predator has unfortunately been persecuted by humans out of unnecessary fear. Deadly they are indeed, but it's important to remind you that nearly all bites come as a result of people interacting with, harassing, or trying to kill these reptiles. If you see a rattlesnake in the wild, follow this advice, leave it alone. In Arizona specifically, you can contact a variety of wildlife removal services or even your local fire department. And believe it or not, they will come to your residence, safely remove the snake, and relocate it. Rattlesnakes are an important balancer of the desert ecosystem, and the more we understand about them, the easier it becomes to accept that they belong as a part of nature. Be smart, be aware of your surroundings, always admire wildlife from a safe distance, and I promise the hiking in the desert will be a fun and enjoyable experience. Hey Coyote Pack, if you enjoyed this heart racing encounter with the desert's most notorious rattlesnake, go back and take a look at one of its strangest rattlers, the quick moving sidewinder. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when the next adventure is about to begin. <laughs>